Hello friends, I hope you're all doing well, doing healthy, yada yada yada. As it turns out, I forgot that having a YouTube channel means actually uploading content to it every once in a while. I can't let the one little bit of unvalidated success that I call the Planeswalker Project go entirely down the drain just yet, now can I? So today I want to talk about Commander 2020. Yes, my friends, amidst this end of the world thing that's been going on that I won't mention beyond that for the fear of YouTube demonetization, we actually have the Year of Commander among us. Surprise! And like every Magic channel right now, I want to obsess and gush over these cards for a little bit, so let's vibe to the top 5 new cards from Commander 2020. Now, as a note, I don't want to deliberately focus on any legendary creatures or partner pairs, as I want to give the other cards from the set some spotlight that they might deserve. And while your picks for the best cards might be grossly different from mine, that's alright. No one ever said I knew what I was talking about. Anyway, let's get going. Cartographer's Hawk is one of the new white ramp cards, or well, I guess what white wants to call ramp. But it's actually pretty good. When it connects with an opponent who has more lands in play than you, you can bounce it to your hand and then tutor a planes to the battlefield tapped. What I really like about this is that it doesn't require that planes be basic planes, so you can get your dual lands, should you be in a non-green color combination that requires some ramp, and get some dual land planes. Those exist. I'm interested in equipping this with Blade of Selves and see how we can make a budget land tax engine. What do you think? And number four is Species Specialist. I like this for one main reason. It doesn't specify tokens or non-tokens. When it enters play, you pick a creature type, squirrels. And then whenever a creature of that type dies, a squirrel, you may draw a card. It doesn't matter if it belongs to you or not. It doesn't matter if it's token or non-token. So this can be especially useful in a lot of decks that maybe they're a token deck and they sack a lot of tokens. Aristocrat decks will love this. And given it's both human and warrior type, both tribal decks of those types are gonna love this thing. Dredge the Mire comes in at number three and I misread this. I didn't notice the part where it says that those creatures chosen get to come into play under your control. So granted, most opponents will aim to give you whatever the worst creature in their graveyard is, but sometimes they won't have a real good option and you'll end up with getting a relatively good quality reanimation target. It's a multi-creature reanimation spell for four mana and I think that that in itself is worth it. Title Barracuda, so gods forbid wizards reprint Vidalcan Ori or Leyline of Anticipation in a pre-con deck, right? Let's slap it on a fish and give it a control deck vibe. This little fishy boy gives everyone's everything flash, making for some crazy games, but it protects you by forbidding opponents from casting spells during your turns, which is pretty neat. It's got the same mana cost as the Ori, just requiring one of those mana be blue, so there's that little caveat. I would even be interested in seeing Wizards develop other color variants of this card. Give us a green card that gives everything flash. Give us a red card that give everything flash. Give it to white, I guess. What do you think? Fierce Guardianship comes in at number one. Let's be honest, don't anyone act like you're not surprised that this got the number one slot. This card is a free negate, provided you control your commander. I've heard a lot of talk about this card being the money card of this set, and quite frankly, given its $45 price tag already, I think that's onto something. We have dozens of blue decks that rely on their commander to be out, and having some form of free protection against removals, board wipes, whatever, is incredibly useful and valuable. Anyway, that's gonna wrap up this video. What cards do you think are the best from this new set of pre-cons? Let's chat in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, there's a subscribe button somewhere around here. Thank you, YouTube, for your janky new updates. If you are violently opposed to ads on these types of videos, we have a Patreon you can help support this silly little channel with. And as always, I'll catch you fine folks next video. Toodaloo!